population growth and economic development. In this module, you will learn about the transition of population growth as per economic development and the need for improvement of reproductive health facilities in India. Economic development and population growth are closely related. As a country develops, its population growth rate gradually drops. A country passes through three stages of economic development. These are the backward stage, the developing stage and the developed stage. A country in the backward stage of economic development faces major problems of poverty and unemployment. Education and health facilities are poor. The birth rate and death rate are high. And the population growth rate is low. In a developing country, the government implements measures for economic growth. Education and health facilities are made available to the people. The birth rate is high, while the death rate is low. The population growth rate is high. India is in a developing stage. In a developed nation, the economic growth measures are intensified. Education and health facilities are made available to all its citizens. People are well informed and educated. The birth rate and death rate are low. And the population growth rate is stable. A backward nation progresses to a developing nation and finally a developed nation. When its economic condition improves, educational and health facilities are provided to all. The birth rate and death rate are low and the population growth rate is stable. There is a close link between the quality of population and economic development of a country. Good health improves a person's life and the quality of work. To improve the quality of population health, proper attention is required in the reproductive health zone. Right from the time a baby is conceived till delivery, a woman needs special care in terms of medical and health facilities. Medical facilities include hospital, doctors, nurses, paramedical staff, beds, necessary equipment and a well-developed pharmaceutical industry. India's national health policy aims at improving public health, family welfare and nutritional services. In the last six decades, the government has paid great attention towards the health of the poor and the tribal communities. As a result of India's comprehensive health programs, there has been an increase in the average life expectancy of the population. Infant mortality rate has gone down due to better mother and child care programs. In order to understand the overall state of health of the people of a country, a certain criteria is used. It includes the life expectancy rate, infant mortality rate, child mortality rate and maternal mortality rate. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on economic development and improvement in public health.